he moved in with an older woman, Rosemary Solario, who had several children from a previous relationship. She and Marcus had a child together, but before long, his eyes strayed to Solorio's eight-year-old daughter, Elizabeth. Oh, God. He married the girl in 1974 when she was 14 and he was 27. No. They had 10 babies. No. One died as an infant. Wesson moved his family around California, living in tents, on boats, shacks, trailers, and various houses. They got with welfare and food stamps, often putting meals on the table by sending the children dumpster diving. With the addition of nieces and nephews from his wife's sister, there were eventually 16 children in the clan. School was not on the agenda for any of them. Wesson took care of their education. Loving. Wesson's lesson in sexual technique was a big part of the girls' curriculum. Oh, hell no. Nah. Their domestic responsibilities included washing his dreadlocks and scratching his head and armpits for him. Instructions in oral sex started early. Oh. At age eight or nine, the girls would later testify. He married his daughters, Kiani and Sabrina Wesson, and started to have babies with them. Nieces Ruby Ortiz and Rosa and Sofina Solario also bore his children. When they were old enough, the girls took jobs outside the home to support the clan. Wesson kept the children under control through fear and violence. He offered sermons that said nothing was more important than keeping the family together, not even life itself. 